I was playing on the smaller one and for the first few holes I was kind of nervous and I didn't know why. All right guys, Johnny Disc Golf here at the 2019 Ledstone Insurance Open and I am standing next to the reigning second place finisher here at the tournament, Mr. Chris Dickerson. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing pretty good, how about you? I'm hanging in there. Uh, we just got into town last night and we beat the rain, I think. It's nice today. We're looking at a pretty nightmarish forecast for the weekend. Um, how are you feeling coming into it? Uh, you know, a lot of OB and there's gonna be a lot of wind and rain. Uh, about the same as every other year. Uh, my game plan out here is to just try and stay in bounds and get birdies where they'll come not really try to force anything so I think as long as I do that I'll be okay okay um, last year you had a real good finish out here um, second place and in fact it was really coming down uh, to the wire even on uh, to hole 16 I believe when that the, the rough skip happened yep. um, how is your mindset coming into this year knowing that you have what it takes and the guy that's on top isn't even here it's just another tournament honestly uh, I go into about every tournament with the same mindset just do the best I can. If that doesn't work, then, you know, that's on me. Okay. Um, last week was a, there was tons of eight tiers all around the country, right? It was like Twin Falls, uh, Majestic, uh, Casey Wide Open, um, uh, out of Blue Mountain there was Zootown Open. Uh, what'd you play last week and why? I played the Rocktown Classic in, uh, I think it's Harrisonburg, Virginia. It was just something that was close to uh, the house before making this trip. Okay. Is there a reason why you don't get out to any of the, you know, the, the bigger regional A-tiers or national A-tiers like that? Um, a lot of it is, you know, the money that goes into it, traveling and stuff like that. But uh, it, it's easier to play not as big of tournaments, just not really small tournaments, closer to home. So you save money while at the same time making a decent amount. Cool. Um, well, what brings you up here to Ledgestone? This is your, I believe it's your third year in a row playing it. Um, you know, why make the trip up here? Uh, it's always had a really good payout, and um, it's, it's one of the bigger tournaments. So it's just the opportunity for money's there. Yeah, hey, absolutely. And as a professional, it makes sense. I mean, that's what we're doing, right? I mean, it's yep. fun, but it's part about liking your job, and this is the job. That's it. Um, <sighs> you haven't toured a bunch this year. But going forward, what's your next like month or maybe six weeks looking like? Are you going to start hitting any of these uh, Northeast events or, or what, what's your schedule look like now? A little bit. Um, I've got a few A tiers coming up and then I know um, before too long I'll be playing the Music City Open, which is mm -hmm. an A tier in Nashville. Mm -hmm. And then I think there's a week off and then they'll, it'll be uh, Worlds back up here in Peoria. Cool. Are you excited about Worlds coming back to Peoria? I mean, you're going to be here twice this year. How do you feel about that? Yeah, you get a little bit of practice with this event. I don't really look at it as practice, but I mean, the more you play the course, the more you're going to know it. Yeah, I was going to ask, does that factor into how you how your mindset is this weekend, knowing that this is kind of a warm up um, for whatever it is a month, six weeks from now when Worlds comes back? Uh, not really. It's just another tournament. Yeah. Um, well, if this is just another tournament, uh, do you have any goals or any any you know anything like that, or is it like you said, there's no real mindset about it? Just throw the shot. Yep. Uh, no really expectations or anything like that just do the best I can and see what happens cool uh, what is it like for you to be maybe arguably the most dominant and I'll say it like more regional pro because you're not hitting a lot of these West Coast or even the Northeast stuff um, what's it like to be so dominant on in, in a regional level is it is there anything different going to a local tournament where you're pretty confident you're gonna be on top compared to a more national event like this uh, it's actually funny you say that. Not too long ago, I was actually, I was playing a smaller tournament, and usually at the bigger ones, I don't get very nervous. Really? But I mean, I mean, it hasn't happened in a while. But uh, I was playing another smaller one, and for the first few holes, I was kind of nervous, and I didn't know why. Really? Yeah. It's it's just uh, I guess it's kind of like being in front of your uh, home audience, I guess you could say, like your hometown. Mm -hmm but I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I play my hometown tournament, the Safari, a lot back home in San Francisco, and there's definitely something like, it can either go two ways, right? You can be real comfortable in front of your home fans, yep. or it can get on top of you a little bit. Um, have you ever experienced it getting on top of you a little bit? Um, not really. Like I said, the first few holes kind of had some jitters at uh, a tournament or two, but 
after that they just they just go away it's just another tournament yeah ice water through the veins man I, <laughs> I i seriously for all of all the pros out there i feel like you i can't tell if you're shooting bad or good visually is that something that you focus on just like being cool comic collected all the time i try to be used to i i had a little bit of a uh a temper and i would let it show but uh now so much i try and stay as level-headed as possible yeah um a couple things I want to ask you before we get you out of here. Uh, Prodigy is really making big moves, um, you know, this season, getting everyone involved with the media and, you know, signing Kevin Jones was a big splash this year. Um, how, how do you feel like Prodigy is, you know, evolving into this next stage? Like, are you happy to see stuff like that or does that just not affect you at all? I'm happy to see it because uh, the more stuff that they're doing like that, uh, the bigger the brand's going to get. So the possibility that we could get paid more and you know, stuff like that. So it's going to impact me at least a little bit. Cool. Yeah, I, I think I, speaking from like the internet fans across the country, we want to see you at more events because the more great players we have out there, the better golf, um, you know, overall. Mm -hmm. uh, is Prodigy doing anything maybe for you to help you get out to some of these bigger events? Yeah, uh, I mean, they're they're paying me a salary and stuff like that. So that that definitely helps. Without them, I couldn't do this without having a normal job. So uh, with having a normal job, I wouldn't be able to put in the practice hours that I do and I wouldn't be where I'm at. Yeah, and where you're at is way towards the top. You're one of the top ranked players here at Leadstone Open. So I'm super excited to see how you finish this weekend. But I want to get you out here with a chance to say anything you want to your fans, your friends, family, anybody pulling for Mr. Robot Chicken out there. <laughs> uh, I just want to thank anybody that uh, really pulls for me. And if you don't follow me, I'm on Instagram at cdick1322. That's C-D-I-C-K 1322. Cool. Well, hey, thank you so much for your time, Chris. I appreciate you coming on camera. Um, good luck in your practice round, and more importantly, good luck this weekend. Uh, for all of you at home, if you'd like to check out coverage of all things disc golf, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to talk a little bit about sponsorship. So many of you already support me at patreon.com slash johnnydiscgolf, and thank you so much. It's super appreciated. But I have a few spots available in upcoming tournaments for content sponsorship. If you or anyone you know might be interested in something like that, please shoot me an email at johnnydiscgolfmedia at gmail.com. Thanks.